Hi there, welcome back. Today I'm gonna remove the staples. Last time you saw me put epoxy on the hull and that has made the hull really hard. So now the staples can be removed without the hull falling apart because the epoxy is bonding each strip to each other. The hull is really rough so it's best to put on some gloves otherwise you will get a lot of uh, small uh, scratches on the fingers. Actually it's much easier to remove the staples if you haven't put epoxy on the actual space where the staples are located. Like up here you can see that uh, I have no, um, no epoxy close to the staple and uh, then it's just to work a little bit with the mesal like this and it's coming up gently and fine without too much trouble. Further down here I have uh, been around with epoxy and <laughs> that makes it really hard. But this one was also possible to remove. You don't want to work your way too much into the wood because that uh, will leave ugly marks. It's not a big problem for me in this case because I'm, uh, I'm thinking that I'm gonna paint the hall anyway. So you won't be able to see the, the markings from the staples in this case. Sometimes you might want to change to a little bit more powerful mesal and put some more force be behind. You can notice I, I use this uh, piece of strip just to bend against so I don't destroy the hull more than necessary. And this one is really stuck. But I got it up. And here you can see the wood can take some uh, force, but this is going to be an ugly mark. Meaning I will need to sand a little bit more. And might even need some fairing afterwards. This seems to be hard not to crack. But if you can get under it like here, it will give away. This is actually one of the biggest drawbacks with staples because it takes a lot of time and like here when it's buried in much epoxy it's very hard to access it.
So don't do this if you try it home. Put epoxy around the staples. It's just too much trouble removing the staples afterwards. And there it went into two pieces. Now I hope I can be able to still... No. Mm. Damn. Now it will be really hard to get it out. I will have to do something. Uh, maybe I will take away the rest of it and try to get in between the mold and the hull and try to remove it that way because this is really stuck I can't access it I speed up with doing the ones that are removable I haven't smeared too much epoxy on these ones although I still have some problems reaching the end I continue working my way over the hull. staple is broken it's easiest to bend the staple backwards. When they are intact I find it best to bend sideways. Sometimes I get lucky also with the broken staples. When most staples are gone I need to add force to get the last ones to give away. This doesn't seem to change anything. I will need to try something different. So I start pulling and pushing the hull edge sideways. And you can hear the effect. At least one staple got loose. I might just uh, try to remove those bulkheads that I'm going to change anyway. Uh, Meaning those in the middle here. Now I push the last molds loose by gently tapping. And then suddenly all are loose. I can lift the hull off the molds. So 
So now I have put uh, masking tape, new masking tape on the bulkheads and uh, it's not really necessary but I want to make sure that the hull doesn't get stuck to the molds when I laminate it, laminate it later on. So now it's back in location and I can start sanding. That will be in the next episode. Please join me then.